All right, join us tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at, are you ready for this? PrepSteadyNetwork.com. PrepSteadyNetwork.com. That's right. We've gone away from the prep kind of thing, and we're up to the homesteading part. So we're advancing along. We want to take you along for this ride with us. PrepSteadyNetwork.com. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Sunday. That's right. Nothing to download. You go right there, watch the, watch us live on camera, listen to pre-recorded stuff, go to the chat rooms, go to the library. There's a whole bunch of stuff there, PrepSteadyNetwork.com. All your familiar favorites are there. New hosts, new people are going to be there also. Ah, good stuff coming your way. Uh, interviews and all kinds of other goodies going on. Well, today, one of the things that I'm going to talk about is rehydrating. Rehydrating your dehydrated foods, like rehydrating peppers and rehydrating basil, things like that, and chicken, which I'm getting ready to dehydrate. But what happens if I rehydrate that chicken? Is it going to come out the same? Is it going to look like this when it comes out? If you dehydrate a steak, can you rehydrate it in some water, throw it on the grill, slap some A1 to it, and have a good steak? No! Okay? We're going to explain why tonight. So, dehydrating, rehydrating, we're also going to touch on some tinctures and some other goodies, and I'm going to show you a secret that I found out, and hopefully this will help you guys with your wild edibles and uh, your tinctures and your medicinal plants, ah, follow me tonight. You'll love my little section on tonight's show, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll catch you around.